You know murder's my hobby inside of my closet, so a bunch of dead bodies and shit. Edit them curse, cause I go to church and stare at the Bible and shit. Shorty say I'm the worst, cause I do my dirt, and now I'm be hiding this shit. Bitch, I'm a savage, I spit at you bastards, I wonder what you gonna do to me, oh? I need to hear some more rapping, I'm just not impressed by your cash and your jewelry, oh? All you my soldiers, and I'm a lieutenant, god damn it, you should be saluting me, oh? So today we're making a tutorial, as you can see, I just woke up, and yeah, today we're making burnt cheesecake, so sis, what are the ingredients? So we need three eggs. Whipping cream, cake flour, cream cheese, and custard sugar. Yeah, keep in mind these are the five ingredients you must make when you when you want to make burnt cheesecake. So first of all, we are going to make separated these egg whites and egg yolks. So by by doing that, we're gonna make prepare one spoon and two you two bowls of cups, and yeah, we're gonna just separate we're separate them. not the greatest one but as you can see I'm making this in process up to that we are going to mix this custard sugar inside to this green cheese after you separated these egg yolks and egg whites after that you begin mixing this one and we are going to show you later that one how to mix so you gotta mix this first and after that mix that I'll show you how to do it later. And also that you have to put at least one egg down before you put others like that. Next you have to add a little bit of egg white in it and then mix it up after a thousand years later this is gonna be like this after mixing about um, 10 minutes above and it's pretty tiring if you say this is how it looks like After adding the whipping cream, you're gonna mix it evenly, you're gonna mix it up, boys! And after that, you're gonna add some cake flour, and yeah, just dig it in. Make it more thinner after sieving the flour by this one. The flour will appear to be more thinner and smoother. So you gotta mix it up. So in that way, the cheesecake that you baked will be much more smoother. I mean the taste. So you gotta make sure that the mixture is smooth as that. See? It's really smooth. The placing the baking paper on top of the container, I mean inside of the container. Um, so once the cheesecake is baked, it is much more easily to take it out. Like it will not be sticking around the container. And after that, you're gonna put some oil, a little bit of oil, and you're gonna spread it all out. Just like how you spread on the butter, on the bread. This is how it feels like when you are taking a bath with the soap on it. And it gets oily sometimes. So after all those process, you have to seize it as it will taste much more smoother. So it might take a while as you need to filter all those um, unmixed flour or um, sugar that hasn't been mixed roughly or evenly. We'll be baking a cake. We'll be baking for 30 minutes and 200 degrees Celsius. On a side note, the preheat timing is adjustable for different kinds of oven or air fryer that has baking features. As we're using air fryers, so the preheat time will most probably be like 5 to 10 minutes. But the baking time is most probably the same for both, which is 30 minutes, 200 degrees Celsius, as I mentioned just now, actually long time ago. Look at it! The cheesecake has started to burn! Hell yeah! Rock 
Gato Boys. And she stays on the ground. Look at my face. This is an excitement of my face. I see it is a moment of truth. Da 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 da! The burnt cheesecake is completed! Woo! In order to achieve the better taste, you can store the burnt cheesecake in the fridge for 5 hours after cooling it down in room temperature. Also, it can also be enjoyed in warm as well. But it will get a little bit of smushy when you eat it, so I prefer storing your burnt cheesecake in the fridge. If any of you do not know how to do it or have no freaking idea how it work, you can leave it in the comment section down below. I will reply it. And yeah, that's all peeps. If you want more of the tutorial baking or making cooking please serious, please like and subscribe for more videos. Share this video to one of the world show that take your center. I will see you all later. Peace out. <laughs>